Welcome back to the channel. It's another day of Vlogmas. Today is a Monday when I'm recording this. I actually have a lot of videos pre-recorded, so now as we're making videos, they're coming out later. So that's kind of cool. At least I got a head start on the videos. <laughs> Okay, good session at the gym. I'm tired today though, like, just tired. <sighs> so, we're gonna finish off this day with like the ultimate wintery task. We're gonna make soup and we're gonna make blankets. Blankets and soup. That's like the best wintery, cozy day I've heard of. So let's go get the ingredients to make his favorite stuffed pepper soup. Getting the ingredients. I am going to teach you guys how I make my Aunt Ellie's stuffed pepper soup. I am missing only one ingredient, which is a can of diced tomatoes. Will doesn't like diced tomatoes, so I just don't add it. But it's a really simple recipe. I know it looks like a lot of ingredients, but it's really not. So I got a couple cloves of garlic here. Just two, salt, pepper, brown sugar, very important. You're gonna need rice, we're gonna be making a cup of rice. One pound of ground beef, or you can use turkey. One can of tomato paste. Three green or whatever color uh, bell peppers that you want. One onion, a small onion, so I'll, I'll only use half of this, this is a big guy. Two things of, um, how many ounces is this? 32 ounces of beef broth and then you could either get the large can of tomato sauce or I just got two so it's like the 28 ounce but this is two two cans of 15 ounces so 30 ounces of tomato sauce all right let's get making it the very first thing I'm going to do is add all of the liquids together which will be the beef broth, the tomato sauce, and then the tomato paste, all to a big soup pot, like so. All right, let's turn that on medium to low heat. Add our cans of tomato sauce. Next, I'm gonna add the tomato paste, but that's kind of, it doesn't just shake in there so I'm gonna scoop it out with the butter knife. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper while this is heating up. Next I'm going to add about a quarter cup of this brown sugar. We're gonna give it a good stir and then we are going to proceed to cut up the vegetables. Now that I'm cutting up the peppers I just remembered I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to add a couple of cut up sticks of celery to the soup, which I totally forgot. So we'll just say it's optional. You know? So I just, I cut them into small chunks. I mean, it's whatever you want. So like that. That's all. That's all. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to be adding celery to the mix, but well, I didn't have the recipe on hand, but that's okay. But that's all right. And you know what? Now that I think about it, it's kind of like a Christmassy recipe because you have the red sauce with the green pepper, so it's red and green. So there you go. This is a Christmassy wintertime dish. But we eat it all year round. Will just loves it. He loves it. The first time he had my aunt soup, he was like, you need to get that recipe from your aunt. And I did, and I make it a lot. So thank you, Aunt Ellie, for this amazing stuffed pepper soup recipe. Got our garlic all minced right here. You could add just minced garlic also to the mixture, just a little bit. That's only two cloves of garlic. Half the onion is cut up. I do not have a proper cutting board, so I just use plates. So we're going to add that to our bowl here. 
We're gonna add the vegetables to the pot here and let them get nice and soft. While this is heating in here, we're going to cover the pot. I'm actually gonna turn this up a little bit and bring it to a low boil. And we're gonna cover it and we're going to make the rice next. It's one cup of rice, by the way. So now we're going to make the ground beef. Okay, the rice is boiling. I just turned it down. We're gonna cover her. Turn it down a little more. This is done. We have already browned the meat. It's done. So the recipe does call to save a little bit of the grease to add to your pot here. So just a little bit, not too much. You don't want to save all this. That's a lot of grease to put in, in your soup. So just like a couple of tablespoons full. That's all. I'm going to give this a good stir. And then I'm going to add the meat because that's already done to the soup. The rice is done. Final thing we do is we are going to add the rice to our soup. There you have it. Everything is mixed in this pot. Everything. So good. So now we're going to cover it, turn it to a pretty low heat there. And we're going to let this cook all together so it all kind of marinates together for about 45 minutes. On a side note, make sure that you do stir this occasionally because it will get stuck to the bottom of your pot and that's never good for your pans and pots. So just make sure that you stir it on occasion. If it gets too thick and there's not enough liquid, you can always add water to it. That's not a problem at all. While the cats are out here nice and cozy, I figure now will be a good time for me to start making the blankets. We are going to begin to make the blanket for mine and Will's youngest grandson, Miles. So let's set this up. Now time to get cutting. Make sure you cut a square in each corner. Like so. Figaro has decided to join us today. We'll see. She loves to sit on these blankets while I'm making them. So if you can see right here, there's these like dots. I don't want that on the fringe because the ends are going to be the fringe area. So we are going to cut this straight across all the way to the other corner. And then after we do that, we're going to cut slits in it. Probably about a half an inch wide to an inch. Nice clean edges. We've got this all cut off here. You like that bigger? Here, you can add that. There you go. <laughs> all of the fringe is cut. Now we have to tie it. One side is complete. Now we are going to continue to do our ties around all of the edges. Just make sure you double knot these. Otherwise, they will come undone. Right, Figaro? Right. All finished. And Figaro helped me the whole time. <laughs> yes, you did. You helped Mommy. Ta-da! These blankets have been really fun to make. Ever since I got a pair of fabric scissors, very important that you have these. I destroyed a couple pairs of scissors trying to do this. So if you don't get them from the fabric store, you can get them at Dollar General. These were only like six bucks. I forgot to show you. The other side is just plain blue. That's it. So it is double-sided, but this is the more fun side right here with all the little sport symbols. So... There you have it. The soup is also done, so I'm going to enjoy a bowl. Here is the soup. So remember how I said that it's kind of like a Christmassy soup? If I did add the diced tomatoes in there, it would really look more Christmassy. Excited to eat this. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video.